Chris here from anabolicmen.com. Finishing up editing the new book, Master Your Testosterone. Uh, it's our new book we're going to release here on anabolicmen.com. And figured I'd take a break, go for a quick walk, and answer some questions. Some of the more common questions that we get to the support desk at support at anabolicmen.com. If you have any questions, you can email them there. Um, or leave them in the comments here in the video. And I'll put it on a list. Basically, I make a list for topics for new videos. So this first topic I'm going to address is teenage guys asking, will uh, too much training in their teens, will that stunt their growth? And it's actually a really good question. It's a valid concern because uh, too often you see guys that, uh, p potentially even wrestlers, but also uh, guys that are in their teens and doing a lot of track or uh, endurance sports, that kind of thing, where they they actually do stunt their growth. My brother was one a good example of that. He basically got into running at an early age. He was very fast and very good at running, but, but he would run a lo uh, very long distances, a lot of mileage every week. Because of that, he basically stopped growing early in high school, and uh, he was concerned about it. So when he stopped running, uh, I got him on a, a weight training program. He was doing the Thor program started doing good uh, you know, weighted calisthenics, that kind of thing, and he started growing. And not only would he, he put on a lot of muscle very quickly, actually, but he also uh, started growing in height. Uh, one of the things to note here, there's a couple elements to it. You can definitely train as a teenager, especially weight training is fine, but you wanna make sure that you stick to certain principles and don't do too much, because I think what we see with, with uh, guys who are competitive wrestlers, they do weight training, but they also violate the, the one of these common principles of testosterone production and growth hormone production, which is uh, elevating their cortisol levels chronically. So cortisol, one, one thing to note, basically how your body works, how your endocrine system, your nervous system works, is that everything hormonally is run through your hypothalamus and pituitary. And uh, from there, your pituitary is signaling to your body to do certain processes after that. So uh, where you run into problems with stunted growth, it's actually in the pituitary is, is where if there's some kind of chronically high cortisol, it's going to suppress a hormone called GHRH, which is a growth hormone releasing hormone. So the, the chronically stressed uh, individual you know, in, in the situation with wrestling, usually in wrestling, they have to cut weight. So, so usually, uh, I remember back in high school, and, and you can see, you know, as adults, uh, a lot of guys who, are, uh, who do MMA and have to make weight, uh, it's very stressful to try and make weight. And a lot of guys do all sorts of different tactics, but it, it stresses out your body. And when you do it over and over and over, especially like the chronic dieting, but also a chronic dehydration, barely eating for for weeks on end before they weigh in for a meet and then they slam a bunch of food before the, the meet and then their body's under more stress because of the amount of food that they just ate after they weighed in. So when they do that over and over and over for years, it becomes very stressful. Uh, and that can definitely lead to chronically high cortisol levels. Also with endurance sports, raise cortisol over time. And that raising cortisol can, can for sure inhibit GHRH and inhibit growth hormone production. One of the, the easy fixes though is that if you focus on this as a teenager, if you focus on a, a balanced weightlifting protocol, doing something like three days a week, uh, solid training, doing explosive training, a lot of compound movements, sprints, that sort of stuff, you'll have no problem growing. You'll probably grow faster. Now another element to it that I think is extremely common as well is, is uh, micronutrient density or lack thereof. Now, a lot of teenagers don't know anything. I didn't know anything about, about health, you know, nutrition, that sort of thing, until I actually uh, had the pituitary tumor diagnosis and then I started doing research on it. And that was when I was 19. That was when I really actually started learning about it. But I know a lot of teenagers don't know anything about it. I remember back when I was like a freshman, sophomore in high school, I would just eat hot dogs and drink Gatorade or eat, eat corn dogs and pizza. It was, it was a very nutrient uh, deficient diet. And that can be one issue. And I didn't really have any problems growing. I was a big, big dude, uh, even from early age. But uh, I know a lot of people who are malnourished, a lot of kids who are malnourished, stay small. So what you wanna focus on also, along with you know the right training and the right, uh, ke keeping your stress levels at the right level, having a micronutrient dense diet and make sure you can get good food make sure you eat a lot of 
Uh, fruits have tons of micronutrients in them, especially if you're active, a lot of high quality meat, uh, and you will not have any problems with growth. So hopefully that helps it out. Just to sum it up, first off, keep your cortisol balanced, keep it low. Don't do anything over long periods of time that are gonna chronically elevate cortisol. And then second, make sure that you consume plenty of micronutrients. Uh, you don't wanna eat a crappy diet because that can also hurt you. And if you're deficient in things, like we've said a million times on Anabolic Men, you're gonna have a hard time with proper endocrine balance and hormonal balance. So just address those things and you'll be fine. You can train as a teenager. Hopefully this helped. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you on the next video.